Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,266. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,266 to 1,268 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, last couple of videos we've been talking about the function equals net workdays international. Now, this is a great function that allows you to have a start date and end date, tell it what your weekends are, and holidays, and it will figure out the number of networking days between the start and end date. Now, in the last video, we saw a couple tricks about how to do weekends. And if we go take a look at this argument, I'm going to comma, comma, there's a drop down here. Well, in last video, we saw what to do if your weekend doesn't match one of the 17 built-in options here. Notice we can have consecutive days, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. And we can have single days. But what if you have a weekend on Monday and Thursday? It's not in this list. No problem. That weekend argument can take a text string with seven digits that represents the seven days in the week. And one means that it's a holiday. Zero means that it's a work day. And this text string always starts on Monday. So one in this position means Monday is a holiday. Zero in this position means Tuesday is a work day. So Wednesday, we got to put a zero. Thursdays are weekend, so we put a one. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So get it? That's how you have to enter this. But now I'm going to click Escape. Look at this situation. We have a bunch of employees. They all have different start and end dates. And each one has a different set of weekend days. I do not want to hard code that into each one. So off to the side from our column where we need to calculate our days worked, we need to set up Monday to Sunday and put our ones and zeros accordingly. So now we start off equals net working days dot international. We have our start date, comma, our end date. Now our weekends. Now we're going to make a mistake here. I'm just going to highlight these. I'm thinking, no problem. That's a relative cell reference. I'll copy it down. It should work, comma. And then our holidays, there's our holidays. I highlight both cells, F4 to lock it, close parentheses, and Control Enter. We get a value error. Now remember, the input has to be double quote, and then 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, et cetera. Well, check this out. F2, if we go to this argument right here, select weekend and F9 to evaluate it and see what actually got put into cell. Well, of course, a range of values, these are numbers over here, show up as a range of values. Now, this is array syntax, curly bracket, number, comma, number, comma, all the way to the end, curly bracket. That's not going to work. We need text. So watch this. This is what we're going to do. I'm actually going to highlight and delete. I'm going to use my arrow keys. And notice I'm trying to hit my arrow key, and it's not working. So I need to hit the F2 key to enable point mode. And now I can go and get my arrow keys. There's Monday. And we simply join it with ampersand to Tuesday. Join it to Wednesday, ampersand. We are joining. Now the join symbol right there automatically converts items to text as soon as you use it. So this is going to work perfect. Ampersand, and we go over and get. And notice each one of these cell references are relative cell references. So as we copy the formula down, it will work perfect. Ampersand, and now we go over and get Saturday. And finally, ampersand, go over and get Sunday. And boom, that whole argument, if I were to highlight it and hit F9, look at that. It puts it in exactly as it should be in weekend. Seven digits, one means weekend, zero means workday, control Z. Now I'm going to come to the end, comma. I get to holidays, highlight, F4 to lock it, close parentheses, control Enter. And sure enough, there's our 34. You can see our formula up in the formula bar. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. And sure enough, that is working. All right, we'll see you next trick.